Fox News Midday with Ashley Sutton, Andrew Capanzo, and first warning weather with meteorologist Brad Souder. You're watching Fox News Midday. Viva Fiesta, everybody, and thank you for joining us for Fox News Midday. I'm Jordan Elder, and this is a very special show. As you can see right here, we have got Andrew Capasso and meteorologist Brad Souter out in Market Square right now. They left me all lonely in this studio. I had to bring in this, <laughs> this pinata so that I'm not alone. But it looks like you guys are having a blast out there. Look at your sashes. What is all of this? Yeah. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there is a ton of excitement out here. We've been here for about an hour, an hour and a half. There is so much going on already. We've got food, we've got drinks, yeah. we've got people, and it's it's already a lot Our of fun. Frescas, we have to always take. Yes. And then, uh, Jordan, you, 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 were, you were talking to me about the gorditas. I have never had one, but here they are. So. I'm going to take a bite of this and then we're going to talk to Brad about the weather. But oh, the I weather need your review here, immediately. Yep. Okay, hang on, Jordan. Here These we go. are yep. always my absolute favorite. I had never don't had lie, one before I moved to San Antonio. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Life changing, truly. Yeah, yeah. TV t no, this is terrific. It's good. It's yeah, very good. Uh, so I'm going to hand it. I'm going to eat the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, no, eat. You eat. You eat. <laughs> um, we got to do a little weather out here with everybody and everybody in the background. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, let's take a look at what's happening in San Antonio right now. I got to tell you, it feels really nice yes. out here. We've been here over the years where it's been cold, it's been windy. Last year was chilly. A uh, year before that, it was crazy hot. So right now, we're in the 60s actually in San Antonio. And you can see uh, very few in the way of clouds as you look live across our beautiful city from your camera there. Now, as you take a look at the hour by hour, Winds will be light today. Temperatures not a whole lot warmer than yesterday. We're looking at mid 70s, slow to mid 70s, trying to get there anyway. Another chilly night tonight, but eventually there's going to be some mugginess that comes back into the area. I'll be talking about that. And rain, if there's any rain on Market Plaza or any of your Fiesta events, all of that is coming up. There is so much happening out here. We're, we, the whole hour, we're going to be talking to people here. We're going to take out some of the food, this gordita. I'm going to finish it. You got about half of it through. Yeah, so I mean, it's pretty okay. good. And just the people here. Just in the last hour, there are just so many people here. Um, and it's early. Yeah. And this is going until all day today. It's going to be here all week long. So there's just so much to do. So be sure to stay with us through, through the hour. We're yeah. going to talk to a bunch of people. We're going to learn a lot about this. Viva! And we're going to hang out with our pals. We're ready to go. As well. So there's a ton happening here, Jordan. But you got your pinata, so that's good too. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We will check back in with you guys in just a little bit. <laughs> Morning, everyone. I'm Andrew Capasso, live at Fiesta de los Reyes. There are a ton of people here. We've got already the booths are up. We've got some lemonade over here, margaritas. Yeah, it's 11, 10 in the morning, but that's okay. Uh, so there's a ton happening here at Fiesta de los Reyes. Uh, let's see if we could talk to someone over here at this. Oh, they're running away, so I don't know if this is going to work. But let's see what happens over here. Hi, how are you? Do you got a second? You're live on Fox SA. Come on out here. How are you? I'm all right. What's your name? Roger. Roger. So talk, talk us. It's 11, 10 in the morning. People are still having margaritas. Yeah, pretty much. Nothing wrong with that, right? It's Fiesta. So tell me, what kind of, what's the popular flavors? What are people going for? Uh, strawberry, but right now we only got lime. Okay. So, so, but there's still tons to, to have here. What do you, what, what does Fiesta mean to you? How long you been part of this? Uh, so I grew up here all my life, really. So. Yeah. What sticks out most to it about it for you? Mostly the food, yeah. the, the music. Yeah. All right, very good. All right, good luck today, sir. Thank you very much. So, yeah, there's a little early, but Fiesta margaritas, strawberry margaritas, you name it, they want it here. A, a ton of stuff out, out for sale out here as well. I've been looking around here in, in the last hour or so. You've got things for your kitchen, things for the living room, things for a bedroom, just everything you can imagine, all Fiesta themed. All theme. very, very cool out here as well. Let's come over here real quick and check out these aqua frestas, uh, which are also a big thing. Brad was telling me about these a little bit ago, and you can just see some of the flavors here. Strawberry, mango, cucumber, tamarindo, and cantaloupe melon. So a lot. Come on over here, sir. Okay, what's up? How's it going? You're live oh, on Fox good. SA. Talk about the, what, what's the popular flavor here. 
Uh, probably horchata. Okay. What's your favorite? My favorite is horchata. Okay. I, I see a theme there. Yes. A very important theme. So just talk real quick. How long have you been doing this? Uh, probably the day I was born to now. <laughs> and what sticks out most to you? Uh, sticks out the yeah. most. Yeah. Uh, the gorgeous people out here tonight, San Antonio, I love you. There we go. Oh, what's your name? My name, The Goat. The Goat. G-O-A-T. All right. Very good. All right, Goat. Thank you very much. So a ton of here. We're going to keep trying some of the stuff, but for now, we'll send it back to you. Jordan, in the studio, do you still have the pinata next year? I don't, Andrew. Unfortunately, they took it away. Someone else needed it, so I'm just all by my lonesome. <laughs> That's okay, though. <laughs> We're having a great time in here too, everybody. <laughs> We're gonna go back to Andrew and Brad in just a little bit. And if you're seeing that and you're thinking to yourself, hey, I would really like to go have an agua fresca. I would really like to go have a margarita at 11, 12 in the morning. You can do that. They'll be out there all day long. <laughs> We're gonna have Brad with your full forecast here in just a little bit. But this is another live look out at Market Square. This truly is the best time of the year. You see everybody shopping. It is such a beautiful day for this. Oh, Gorditas, bring me one, someone, please. This is the best part. <laughs> we will check back in in just a little bit. Live, this is Fox News Midday. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back live to Fiesta de los Reyes. We're having a great time here. I want, I want to bring in Nikila Davis. She's the owner and winemaker of Colossi Cellars. Their first year doing this, the first Texas winemaker to be part of Fiesta de los Reyes. Good morning. Good morning. This is a pretty big deal for you guys. It is. We are so excited to be here, to be the first Texas winery at Fiesta de los Reyes. It's that, very important. That is very cool. So talk about the, the your first impressions. Uh, just I've been here for about an hour and a half. This is amazing. What are your first impressions? It is a beautiful day. It's yeah. colorful. People are having a great time. We are just so glad to be here. Uh, what sticks out for, for you in the first uh, the first time here? Um, just how beautiful Old Town is. Yeah. I haven't been able to spend a whole lot of, a lot of time here. Uh, we moved to San Antonio early on when we were building, mm -hmm. but it was COVID, so we missed yeah. out on Fiesta. So it's been it's been eye opening and just so colorful. So let's talk about these wines. The first. Texas winemaker here at Fiesta Los Reyes. It's a big deal. Talk about these. Um, so we're serving our Malvasia Bianca, which is yeah. a white wine. We are 100% a state-grown winery, so everything you taste of ours, we grow ourselves, we produce ourselves in the winery, uh -huh. and we put it out in our tasting room and at events like this. What was the the, the decision process like to to come to Fiesta de los Reyes as the first Texas? Was it because you wanted to be the first Texas winery or to be part of this? Was it a bit of everything? What was that it's that bit, process like? A bit of everything, but really it's uh, Ray Feo Consejo Educational Foundation is yeah. what captured us. Mm -hmm. um, I come from, I'm South Indian. Education is very important. And so is culture and keeping culture going. Yeah. And that's what captured our hearts. And what do you, so you don't have a medal yet. We talked about this during yeah. the break. No medal yet, but you're going to have a medal next year. Absolutely. And I've been looking, doing a, a couple stories on these medals and it, it is the process to to come up with a cool design to get it made and then to get it here have you started the process for next year yet i have with our manager she has just inspired me um, our logo is the elephant it's uh -huh. about moving obstacles and barriers but doing it in a very gentle and kind way oh, okay and so i think it fits right into fiesta and the theme of Rafael. what do you think for folks coming here your first time it's my first time many people their first time what do you think the message is about coming to something like this? What do, what do you want people, you think, to take away from it? I want people to realize, one, how much work and dedication mm. it goes into this, how important these organizations are to keep San Antonio alive. It's one of the biggest fundraisers for San Antonio. Um, and I want people to leave having a good time and great memories. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask is the nonprofit part of this, the charity part of this, Party with a Purpose, right? Yes. Talk about what went into that for you. Um, as far as Party with a Purpose, it's yeah. about educating people about wine to come out to the event, to learn about what we're doing in the community. 
um, and then take it take it a step further. Come visit us in Fredericksburg to learn more about our background, our beliefs, and come have a good good glass of wine. All right, Nikila Davis, the owner and winemaker of Colossi Cellars. Thank you so much Thank for your you time. So much. For Welcome to us. Fiesta. Thank you. Both our first year. We'll be back both next year. Absolutely. We look forward to All it. All right. Thanks so much. All right, uh, Brad. Let's go over to you. And now, first warning weather with meteorologist Brad Souder. Holy smokes, we are here at Market Square and one of the best places you can go to, Aguas Frescas. Yes, I'm here with um, uh, Mr. Colon, Mr. Falcon uh -huh. here, uh, and you, sir, Adrian, are serving up some Aguas Frescas. And uh, tell, tell us which ones you have here. So what we've got this year, we've got uh, mango, we've got watermelon, horchata, we have your traditional lemonade, we've got pineapple, We've got lemon, cucumber, oh, and we've got cantaloupe as well, melon. Okay, okay. Now, Adrian, let me try up Oshata because I haven't had it before. Okay. And it's this one here. And I got to tell you, it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch yes, cereal. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh, like the milk that you're drinking with the cinnamon. Uh -huh. I love this, man. Uh -huh. uh, it, cinnamon in it. What else is in it? It's, it's rice. It's a traditional okay. boiled rice drink. Yeah. Uh, of course, out here we can't boil it but it, it's got vanilla and cinnamon in it. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Hey, let's get to some weather because it's Military Monday here at Fiesta de los Reyes. And on your screen right now, your weather headlines, and we're talking about it being on the warm side, but not super warm. And we are gonna be looking at temperatures that will be dropping on back down into the 50s tonight. So overall, it is kind of cool. Late week, we'll see a rain chance that comes back into the area. But for now, rain chances do look to be on the lower side. All right, let's get through this. Uh, hey, it's palindrome day, right? What? It's a, a number, the date, that's the same forward as it is backwards. 4-22-24. Do it backwards. It's the same, and we have 10 days of it. Hey, look at the temperature outlook here as we make our way in the next couple of weeks. Temperature is actually forecast to be above average and precipitation forecast to also be above average. There's a precip outlook for the next two weeks. And your Fiesta forecast, temperatures will be making their way on up into the lower 70s today. Tonight, numbers fall off into the 50s. Gonna be another cool one. And as you look at the satellite right now, you can see a little bit of cloud cover, but it's clear here. We're looking very decent. Temperatures right now showing their numbers in the 60s, kind of coolish. Radar, few showers to the south as we look at that radar and click it again farther south. Uh, there are a couple showers out there in the valley. All right, high temperatures today are going to make their way on up into the 70s and 60s for most of Texas. And then uh, your future cast, a few pulse points in here, just showing you as we go through this hour by hour that we are looking at winds that will start to shift more to the east and then the southeast as we go into tonight and tomorrow. And that's going to crank in some added humidity. So our highs today locally, we'll see the numbers that will be in the 70s. Lows tonight drop down into the 50s, not quite as cool. And as we look at the next seven days, our temperatures, well, they'll be going on up into the 80s and the humidity going on up. Next chance of rain will come in on Friday night. Friday night, uh, uh, some, some rainfall into your weekend. There's a chance. So, uh, But here at Fiesta de los Reyes, got to tell you, the Aguas Frescas go for the horchata. Uh, Oh my gosh, it's so great. By the way, it's Military Monday as well, and there's a great band playing some jazz or some uh, little big band music. It's really soothing. Pretty sweet stuff out here. Market Square, it's Fiesta 2024. I will now send to this. I'm Andrew Capasso, live here at Fiesta de los Reyes. The weather is nice. There are a ton of people out here. And don't forget one thing we're gonna talk about a lot in the next half hour, it's Military Monday. What that means, and why these wristbands are all important. We'll talk about that. We have a lot more from Fiesta Los Reyes as we continue here on a very special Monday. Stay with us. Fox News Midday with Ashley Sutton, Andrew Capanzo, and first warning weather with meteorologist Brad Souder. You're watching Fox News Midday. Hello everyone, Andrew Capasso live at Fiesta de los Reyes. A beautiful, beautiful day out here. Um, if, if today's a day to kind of play hooky a bit because the weather out here is absolutely 
perfect. And there are a ton of people who already have the message. The food here, something that is outstanding. I want to bring in uh, Mary Lou. Mary Lou, come on over. She's got the funnel cakes. You can see she's working hard on one. We're going to try this in a second here. Um, this is, these folks are called Powder Me Up. So it's very exciting. Hi, Mary Lou. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? How's it going out here today? It's going great. This is what? The day three for you? Day three of ten. Yeah. <laughs> yet to come. And how's it going so far? It's going great. People are, people are coming out, having their funnel cakes, corn dogs, and churros with extra powdered sugar. The best. There you go. Yeah, so you best. have one? You have sure one for do. us to try? So Mary Lou's going to give us one to try because it's it's been decades since I've, not that decades, a long time since I've had a, a funnel cake. But you see, she's got a, she's going to put some sugar on it. She's got some, looks like strawberries on there. It looks very good. And she's going to throw some stuff on there too. What, so tell me what's going on top of that, Mary Lou. All right, we got lots of powdered sugar, yeah. strawberries and glaze and whipped cream. Strawberry glaze and whipped cream. Look at this. Look at this. Don't tell your cardiologist, but it's okay because it's Fiesta. So we're going to give this a whirl here in a second. Thank you, Mary Lou. I appreciate it. So, let, so we're going to give this a whirl here before we go. Um, let's try this out here. Put some of the whipped cream in there. Yep, this is probably the best day ever. I know I've been in San Antonio very long. But the food is great. The people are fantastic. And take a look at that. Just look at that. Doesn't that make you want to come down here? It's a great day out here at Fiesta. We're going to continue to eat all the food and also talk to some more people out here. Um, again, if you can come out here today, they're here all day. They're here all week. Um, definitely want to check this place out. But for now, we'll send it back over to you. All right. We are going back out to Market Square, and we have Brad Souter with us right now. I, Brad, I have to admit, I'm pretty jealous. I've seen funnel cake. I've seen agua frescas. <laughs> you had some horchata uh -huh. earlier. I just... What a good day, yeah. and the weather's beautiful. Uh, I'm, get, I'm getting jacked up on sugar, yeah, <laughs> and, and this is what Fiesta is all about. And it's gorgeous out here. I'm giving out some Fiesta medals to folks here, just, just passing them out, and some other, there's one for you. Uh, I'll give you just, just a second. Sylvia, the Spurs lady, it's so great to see you. Um, how have you been doing? I've been doing fine. I love your hat. Ah, uh, do it. <laughs> and, you, and you have your bracelets. And, uh, oh, that's. Is metal. You got the Wimby medal. Holy smokes, that that is awesome. Well, it's so good to see you. I always love coming to Fiesta because I know I'll get to see Sylvia. I get to see you too, Brad. Hi. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's get to your forecast here real quick. Um, as we look outside right now, I've got to tell you, across the city, it is looking absolutely gorgeous, completely clear, hour by hour the rest of the day today. Temperatures on their way on up. We're low 70s. This is probably perfect weather for Fiesta, and perfect weather to get some Fiesta medals. Uh, thanks, you guys, for saying hello. Anybody else want a medal? No, nobody does? Nobody? <laughs> there you go. Oh, well, yeah, nice to see you. Here you go, here you go, here you go. You get a medal, you get a medal. Hey, I'll send it back in to you guys. I got a few more left, so, um, Jordan. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yes. Viva! Viva! All right, guys, live at Market Plaza Fiesta 2024. And this guy here just says, hey, you, you watch me on TV, huh? All the time. Uh, he's amazing. He teaches me things I don't even know about. But I still learn anyway, along with my friends here. Uh, hey, hey, friends. Nice to see you. Sorry, I didn't ask to put you on TV, but hey, you nailed it. You nailed it. Viva Fiesta. Have a good time. Uh, you, <laughs> you too. Uh, hey, I love getting a table at Market uh, La, La Margarita. Yeah, nice to see you. Great time, Market Plaza. Hey, we'll be back with the forecast for the next few days. Stick around for that. <laughs> Live, this is Fox News Midday. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back live to Fiesta de los Reyes. I'm Andrew Capasso. We've been out here through the morning, and one thing I've noticed, it takes a while to get to where you want to go. There's a, there's a ton of stuff to do out here. I want to bring in Scott Esquivel. He's with DES, which stands for Downtown Entertainment Social Transportation. He's got these cool things. We're going to talk about these electric vehicles that you have here in downtown. First, uh, good morning. Welcome. Morning. Thank you. Thanks for your time. I want to give you a, a Fox, I, I hope you at home have the Fox SA medal. If you don't, Brad and I are, are out here. Um, 
So that's that's for you. But I want to talk about about this. And uh, first of all, you've got five of them. What when did you see that there was a need for EVs in downtown for Fiesta Los Reyes? It's been about a year, I guess. We started to come about this uh, business concept of move of mobile mo uh, mobility with uh, electric vehicles to uh, mm -hmm. kind of like uh, be electric and be a uh, uh, safe and you know bring people to we knew that fiesta was coming up and yeah. it's hard to get around with all the traffic and, and the construction and whatnot um so with electric vehicles we can uh we, we can bring people safely to the market square mm -hmm. and uh, we just thought that it was it was a good idea you know b being that we have some real estate downtown we you know it's it's hard to find parking yeah. and whatnot Let's get out of the way for a second so they can take a look. And I want to ask you a couple more questions about this. Um, one other one, it, it's free. Um, I want to talk about just the idea of having an EV here versus a gas powered. Electric vehicles, it's, it's, it's what's in the future. You know, we have, it, it's, it's eco-friendly. You know, we're saving the planet. We don't have emissions going up, you know, um, uh, coming out of these vehicles. Uh, they're chargeable. Um, it's, it's, it, they're safe. You know, they're, they, they're low speed. They only go 25 miles an hour. We only mm -hmm. keep them in the downtown, the urban areas. Uh, in the uh, like that, you know, we go from South Town to all yeah. of Central Downtown, and the Pearl, whatnot, everywhere. That uh, that's easy to to to, to, mob to be mobile to get around. Know? Yeah, to get around. What was the process like for, from thinking of this idea to getting to the point where you've got five for the first time here at Fiesta de los Reyes? Well, I mean, the idea was like, hey, let's 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 keep it free. I mean, who doesn't like yeah. free? Free is a good word. So we wanted to to create something that was going to give back to the public, to the community and that we, we can make it easily accessible so they, they can get in. So being that it's free, you know, people are going to be, they're, they're going to like the entertainment. Our, our vehicles are entertainment. They want to continue the entertainment. Mm -hmm. the, you know, if they're going to go to a restaurant, a bar, even a coffee shop during the daytime, and there's music, there's lights, you know, there's, there's yep. ads in the inside. Uh, we want people to enjoy and have a good, good feeling about coming to San Antonio and, and being a tourist and whatnot, keeping, keeping San Antonio moving. At the same time, you know, without the parking, that the, the parking, how tight the parking is downtown, yeah. we're helping, doing our best to save uh, a lot of small business, local yeah. business here in town. That was my other question. You want to keep the, the fun going, right. keep the, 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 the yeah. fun atmosphere. The vibe, yeah. What is that like in here? It's awesome. I mean, everybody, all the feedback we've had, people people get in here, they, they, they either, whether they're getting out of Fiesta right here at Market Square, they're coming out of, you know, restaurant or bar, they, they want to get back in here and they, they jump in and their music's going, yeah. lights are flashing, mm -hmm. you know, and they, they just, they enjoy it. They, you know, they, 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 go, they get back in there, they bring their families and like, hey, how, how can we do it? So then we felt like there was a need to just keep on buying more. Yeah. It, it's a need, it's a definite need for San Antonio. And this is your first time here at Fiesta de los Reyes yes. for, for you guys. So talk about what you think so far. I think it's awesome. You know, being, being a member of the, of the Ray Feo Consejo uh -huh. Educational Foundation, we raise money. We raise money for kids. And this is this this Fiesta de los Reyes is a is our main uh, revenue or sponsorship, yeah. uh, so we can you know build some uh, build some money for for scholarships. So I thought it was the best time for us as as a, as an organization to to give back to this organ to another organization. Yeah. So we can say you know we'll be sponsors and we'll we'll help bring the crowd over to San to, to the Market Square, so that it helps it helps people get over here and not having to walk downtown through the yeah. construction and. You know, find parking and whatnot. And one more real quick question: This yeah. is available around the clock uh, when Fiesta is going yeah. here. Where can people pick these up? They can pick them up here. There's a, we have a designated pickup and drop off right by the Arts Building um, at the end of the Fiesta area. Yeah. We have a, we have a designated pickup and drop off, so you can just pull, every 15 minutes a cart will pull up, and you can hop in, hop off, and then they'll take you to any of our sponsors. We have we have multiple sponsors you see on our vehicles and in inside of the vehicles mm -hmm. and they'll make pick up and drop those at all those spots all right so scott astava with downtown entertainment social transportation thank yes you for sure much. thank you so much thank you very much appreciate it thank you so yeah these are gonna these are free they run all the time and you, you talked to me you heard to him about uh where you can pick these up and drop these off a very cool idea all right that's the latest from here at fiesta Little race much more as we continue but for now I'll send it back over to you and now first warning weather with meteorologist brad Souder. Hey everybody, this is Market Square. This is Fiesta 2024. And I love it. This is, you know what, I gotta tell you, I've been out here many years now. This is probably the nicest weather you could possibly get. I, I don't think I would change a thing, really. Uh, all the flowers, the decor, uh, your flower crowns. By the way, this is Military Monday, and I thought it was interesting. I saw uh, 
tax collector man, uh, Albert Uresti, a few minutes ago, giving out the uh, the discount bans for um, the military service. So yeah, if you're a military member, find the, the tax man, he'll give you a discount for things out here, I think just in Market Plaza today. Uh, but I love this, folks having lunch. Check out the, the, the live music out here. This is great. Uh, nice to see you guys. Uh, you, you liking it okay? Pretty good weather so far. Oh, huh? It's beautiful weather here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's outstanding. It's a great day to come down here, and I highly recommend it. Yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy your time. Uh, hey, let's take a look at your forecast here. Right now, your weather headlines on your screen, and we are looking at, well, it is going to be a kind of a coolish day around here. Temperatures will be making their way only up into the low 70s, not nearly the wind we had yesterday, and it's going to stay dry. Dry until maybe Friday. Uh, more on that in just a second. But hey, happy palindrome day. What? Yeah, palindrome is a word or numbers that are the same forward as backwards. So today's date 42224 also going the other direction. It's 42224. And it's like that for 10 days. Something neat. Hey, the temperature outlook for the next 2 weeks will show that temperatures are going to be above average actually as we make our way into the start of May. May, a warm month, it might kind of start hot, but we also have above average chance for precipitation to be above normal as well. So that actually is some good news. All right, here's your Fiesta forecast. As you make your way into Fiesta de los Reyes tonight, it will cool off into the 60s, but that's going to feel pretty good. All right, satellite will show a few high clouds right now. Your temperatures outside in the 60s still. Nice breeze. Radar shows a couple showers to the south. I can see a couple of those clouds here, but they're not going to be making their way up in this area. Radar south, yeah, you can see a few more of those. Regional highs today, 60s and 70s in Texas. And future cast as we quickly go through this. Winds will switch coming out of the southeast. Humidity rises, and we'll see warmer Nighttime temperatures and daytime highs will also be climbing. Highs today will be in the 70s. Lows tonight down into the 50s, not as many 40s. And then for the next seven days, notice the upward trend in temperatures. Highs going in the upper 80s, and it's going to come with some humidity. And our days not going to be nearly as sunny as what we have right now. So right now, best weather of the rest of the week. I got to tell you, get outside and enjoy some of this. Uh, this weekend, maybe a range inch. It's small, but Nyosa starting up uh, this week. Yeah, every night. Should be great for that as well. That's what's happening live from Fiesta de los Reyes in Market Square. I'm meteorologist Brad Souter. All right, if you see one or all of these medals on your screen and think to yourself, hey, I would really like some of those, you could actually win them for free all five of these. To enter to win the full set, all you have to do is go to our website, foxsanantonio.com. It is that easy. And let me tell you, that Fox SA medal is a hot commodity. I hear the people yelling to Andrew and, and to Brad about, can they get those Fox SA medals? How's it been going out there? <laughs> the, 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 the medals, like all of you warned me. Um, there, you're going to have a lot of best friends all of a sudden. And do you give one person a medal, and then there's a line yeah. of 70 people. Give me a medal. Give, it's it's incredible. People like months. their medals. They um, do. And yeah, you you run out. You're like, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> you gotta just shake your hand instead and say something on camera. And then everyone gets upset because we haven't been to where yeah. we're supposed to be on time. Yeah, but I, we're here. I know. But and another thing is the food is terrific. Just what did you have? What did you eat? We had the um, the funnel cake, which I'm going to finish. We had the gordita. Had aqua fresca. Yeah, we, we cleared here. the table here. We, we did. eaten some of it. Uh, hey, it was your first fiesta. The first big, event. the first big thing. What do you is, think? This is awesome. Now th this, this is, is awesome. This is this is so low key. If you come down here this weekend, yeah, yeah. Uh, or even the evening, uh, if you like, you you know, you got to kind of shimmy your way. <laughs> You're not going down the road very quickly at all. It, it's it's packed. But and one thing that I've noticed is just when we got here, I got here about 10 o'clock, right? After our morning show wrapped up. And there weren't a ton of people here at no. all. But it's it's filling up fast. Sure. And it's sure. get, just going to get more and more people through the this, day. This will probably end up being the, the best day weather-wise of, I was gonna of say, all yeah. of Fiesta de los Reyes. I mean, tomorrow looks good too, but then you start continuing with humidity and you're going to get a little... Um, Dewy, as the people yeah. call it now. I call it sweaty. Yeah, sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, as that humidity picks up, you 
being out in it could be yeah. an issue. Jordan, are you are you going to take part when are you coming down? Yeah, Jordan. I wanted you to come Hopefully with us. Hopefully soon. Like, no, oh my gonna goodness. Stay. I'm going to I'm going to run floor. down there right after the show. So save me some save me some food. And I <laughs> <laughs> I will say I the, the gordita, I know you were all about the gordita before we left. It's some good food here, Jordan. It it's is very so good. Food. good. I'm jealous of you guys. You. You've done an awesome job out there. Thank you all for joining all right, us for Fox News Midday. We'll be right back here, here tomorrow at morning, 5 a.m. For Brad Souter, for Jordan Elder, for our entire team. Thank you.